Good morning, family. <clears throat> this is another edition of Morning Breeze, and I'm yours truly, Natalie. And my heart is just overwhelmed this morning. My heart is just overwhelmed. Um, just basking in the goodness and the grace and the mercy of our God. Um, the tears were just flowing uh, this morning as I was just reflecting on the goodness of God. Mainly about his, his, his salvation, his gift of salvation that was given to all of us freely given to freely receive and when I think about all of the things that Jesus endured and how he went to the cross and he sacrificed his life for us and he died such a horrific death so that we may live and have eternal life and have life not just to live for the sake of living but to have life more abundantly glory to God my heart becomes overwhelmed and I know it's done usually at the end of a video, but today I'm just going to implore you to seek God, to seek salvation. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, get to know Him. Get to know Him. I'm going to share a little song with you guys this morning. Don't mind my voice. Amazing grace. Shall always be my song of praise, for it was grace that bought my liberty. Hallelujah. I'll never know just why Christ came to love me so he looked me on my faults and saw my knees. so I shall forever lift mine eyes to Calvary to view For me, how marvelous His grace had brought my falling soul. He looked beyond all of my faults and saw my need. And just reflecting on that this morning, understanding how the grace of God has covered us, how when we have done wrong, when we didn't know quite what to do, when we may have made the wrong steps or a wrong turn in life, this grace, this love, this compassion, it continuously covers us. It doesn't matter what it is that we have done. It doesn't matter where we have been. The grace of God and the love of God, unconditional love of God, continues to cover us, continues to strengthen us, continues to draw us nearer to Him. Glory to God. I was reflecting and I, even looking at human relationships. When people do things to offend us or, to, or, or do things that we deem is wrong, we are so easy to convict them and we're so hard to forgive we talked about repentance last time but I, I i stopped to reflect on the love and unconditionalness of the of god's love towards us and this song illustrated it says he looked beyond all of my faults and he saw my knees my needs some people say my knees <laughs> well it's both right <laughs> it can be both but he looked beyond everything that we have done wrong. He looked beyond everything that we, we, we think wrong, the ways that we, we operate that aren't right. He looked beyond everything that we have done, knowingly and unknowingly. And he said, my child, I forgive you. I love you. 
You're so precious to me, it doesn't matter. That's what love is. Oh my God. A love that isn't comprehended. A love that has no, 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 no justice. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the love of Christ is not justified. We don't receive or, or, or deserve God's love. The love that he has for us is in spite of who we are. Glory to God. This love that he has for us transcends who we are and what we have done. It doesn't, it's not compromised. As long as we freely and openly receive his love, he gives it to us. And as I thought, as I, I reflected this morning, and I look back at my life, my own life, I don't know about you, but I haven't always been perfect. <laughs> Still not anywhere close to perfect. But I looked at the things that I've done, the things that I've said, the people I've hurt, times I've hurt myself. And I said, God, how could you love somebody like me? Have you ever gotten to that point where where you really just look back at your life and who you were and what you used to do back then. Some of you, what you're doing now, the circumstances and situations you're in now. And you ever just ask yourself, how could God love me? Well, I'm so happy. If you never have heard this message before from anybody else, it is my privilege and honor to introduce you to a God who loves you beyond yourself. A God who looks beyond all of your faults and sees your needs. A God who puts you first. Even above his own son. Let me introduce you to my God. You know, I, 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 I don't think that sometimes like us as Christians, sometimes we we understand concepts, but we don't really grasp the true meaning of it. We just, we have a general understanding and, and sometimes that's why it's so hard for us to operate in the full capacity of who we're supposed to be. But understand this, if God can love us so much, without fault, without looking at who we are or what we're doing. If he can love us so much, if he can forgive all that we have done to him, knowingly and unknowingly, then why is it so hard for us to forgive our brother and sister? Why are we holding on to things of the past? Why are we so bitter? These are questions I ask myself. But the message from the Lord today is this. He looked beyond my faults and sees my needs. So I will look beyond the faults of others and see their needs. I will have that same grace and compassion that God has given to me, I will not withhold from another. That same love and openness and freeness that God has given to me, I will not withhold from another. We've been going through this, this little series and yesterday the message, powerful word from God was about the prodigal son. And I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but basically, it was just coming to yourself and understanding who you really are. Not giving up your birthright. You are an image and a reflection of your father. So I implore you guys today to remember this. To embody the... I can't believe... I, yo, I always... 
<laughs> I've been saying this for a very long time. Embody the characteristics of Christ. Children of God, embody the characteristics of Christ. Be Christ-like. I'm so tired of um, people looking at church people and not, not recognizing Christ. And, and you may hear that statement and, and maybe a little bit confused, but it is so common for the world to look at Christians and not recognize them as children of God. We put up such a facade. And social media, we're Christian-like, right? We share little posts of Jesus, this is not a whatever. If you live with us, if you walk with us on our day-to-day -day life, it's a different story embody the characteristics of Christ. Jesus loves you. He gave up his life for you. He died on the cross, but he didn't just leave it there. The power of resurrection was his portion and he raised from the dead so that we may have eternal life. The word of God says that he's gone now. Where is Christ now? He's gone now to prepare a place for us so that where he is, we, we may be also. In the fullness of time. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, do it right now. I'm not saying do it today. I said right now. Right now. Now, 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 now is the time of salvation. It is given to you freely. You don't got to pay for this. You don't have to fly to some unknown country to receive this. You don't have to go before any council to receive it. You don't even have to go to church uh, to, to, to wait until Sunday to receive this. This gift is given to you right now. Accept Jesus Christ into your heart. All you need to do is to believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and that he was buried and he rose again triumphantly with the keys of death and hell in his hands. And that he's gone to prepare a place for us and that one day he's coming back again. To receive those who have received his love freely. So that we now may be in turn washed and cleansed and accept the gift of salvation eternally. And when you die, if you accept Christ, you'll be able to, to, to experience this joy and this peace of eternal life that awaits for you. If you die without Christ, you will not experience that joy of eternal life. I shouldn't even say that. You will experience eternal life. But it won't be a life that you want. It will be a life of torment. It will be a life of pain, suffering. I truly believe that even in this lifetime, if you live a life without Christ, you're living a life in pain and suffering. You're not living a life of eternal, glorious joy and peace. Everybody has to go through life. Everybody goes through rough times in life. But if you have the peace of God and the understanding that there is greater ahead of you, this life becomes more bearable. Why suffer yourself to the, the fate of not knowing Jesus Christ? Of having the comfort of the Holy Spirit within your life that will lead you and guide you? Why suffer yourself that fate? Why? It's, it's a stupid decision. Yes, it's a stupid decision. Be smart. Be wise. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I love you guys with the love of God. I implore you today, seek God. Spend time with Him. He loves you. He wants a relationship with you. This is Natalie Joseph. Another morning breeze. Have a wonderful day. Bye.